um, I'm going to do a white feather now. I have my Deco Art white paint here. And I've put in a little bit of this extreme glitter just to see what it looked like. And it's too thick in the cup. So I'm going to add just a little bit of water just till I get it thin enough that it'll stick to my string but yet not be too thin. Not as thin as the black. That looks pretty good. Hopefully the sparkle will show up in the uh, painting. And I'm not sure if I got the uh, string on here last time so I'll try to put it up where maybe you can see it. But first I gotta put my black on so I will do that. This is Saks paint mixed with a little bit of Floetrol. But with the background you need it really thin spread thin or else you'll get great big piles of uh, paint pulling on you. So I've just found to do the backgrounds thin. This is just to get me up to practice. Because I haven't been pouring or string pulling for a while so I mean I've done some but uh, my computer went down and, uh, well, it took forever to upload and I couldn't edit worth a, I was having trouble with that, so I got myself a new computer because I needed one. Mine was, 50, laptop was 15 years old and I guess it was just not doing what it should have done. But I had to get Windows 10, which I can't use. I, it doesn't have Movie Maker in it, so I'm trying to teach myself a uh, shortcut. So it's a learning curve for me, because not only am I, yeah, I'm trying to figure out a program and edit and not keep it too long, or get it too long. I mean, I could cut out the sound altogether, but uh, I guess you can mute it if you don't want to hear me talking. That's all right. stick back in the cup so I uh, keep it good and I'm just going to make sure I got it spread even with my finger. They, the lines don't seem to show up once you're done. They just kind of melt away. I think that's what the Floetrol is supposed to do. But if you have your background too thick, believe me, you'll end up with a lump of paint. And that's no fun to work with either. I think a white one would look cool. I might even do two on it. I'm not sure. And then I'll just bang it to pop any bubbles that I can see here. Seems to pop them just fine. Get the odd one that doesn't want to pop, but just take your stick and pop it. It's easy as that. And just like I said. My lungs won't take a heat gun, so there's no use of playing with one. But it works. Most of the bubbles pop out. Disappear. Make sure I'm in the center of the frame again, because, yeah, I forget what I'm doing. Forget I'm recording and just start playing. So now I'll put the white with a little bit of uh, glimmer out on the paint. Oh, it's getting bright in here because the sun. Excuse me a moment. I'm gonna have to dim it, or you're gonna be I'm not gonna be able to edit out the brightness. Be so bright you won't be able to see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. And my setup isn't all that great. I'm just using what I got. what sometimes we just have to do. I can't afford to go buy a big video setup and lights, but I just got it hooked onto an old stand and it seems to work. I just have to flip the video. Now what I'm doing here is I'm wiping off the extra paint because you don't want it really thick on that string. You want it thick, but not globby. 
and I probably have too long of a one. Oh, see, it's stripping. But beware, you can pull them out. In fact, I might just lay the feather that way, and that way I'll take it out. There's my pull. point and then I just run my finger down each side of the string and squeeze so you get that gray paint off and dip it again into the white otherwise you end up with a very gray white after a short while which isn't what you want and sometimes you have to do your feather twice on each side just do what you gotta do to make what, what you like. Just remember to put your string the right way. That's what I was having trouble with at first. I'm gonna pull this one out so maybe I can get it a little bit more even. Coming down and out to the feather. I like that better. Uh -huh. I want to find with all these techniques, it just takes practice and sometimes we have to do a few till we get it right, then we can do a bigger one. That's what I find these little boards are good for. They're good for practicing and they don't take a lot of space to, pour, to store. Oh, now I gotta go down the other side. I think I got too long of a string for a feather, but that's all right. Yeah, work with it. Lay it right along the spine. I think you call it a spine. I'm not sure exactly. And then kind of pull out because the feather goes out until it starts pulling. In. Not perfect, but that's what practices are for. If you don't get your technique down before you do a big one, you'll end up messing up a big canvas. Well, you can always scrape it off. That's a good thing about this art. If you don't like it, scrape it off and you can always gesso or whatever if you need to the background. But Usually I don't have to. But I have done that for many. Just haven't been crazy about them, so yeah. Now see this one, well I know there's no uh, silicone. I'm still getting a few bubbles, so it has to be coming from the Floetrol. And you sure get black paint on the side, I'm telling you. <laughs> I think I'll fix up the bottom end, just get the bottom of it wet. And like I said, you just fiddle till you're happy with it. Bunch up that extra string in my hand, so I'm not dipping that in. And lay it down a little longer and just do a re-pour, a re-pull on the other side. Then I think I'll be happy with it. It sure doesn't take long. If you're not careful to get gray paint there though. Much easier to just kind of grab it and lay it down. See what's happening? My hand's getting shaky. 
but I can fix that somewhat. Oop. Can't fix that without redoing it. Just take your stick, make sure you got the white paint off of it, and just the black and just get it out of there. Nobody but you will ever know it's in there. Once it dries, you'll never notice it. Just like that. Now, I'm going to try another one. It's, I think it's the funny angle I got my wrist at. That's giving me the little bit of trouble. I did the other one from the other corner, but then once I dropped that white, Kind of got a mess. I learned something right there. Your wrist only turns certain ways <laughs> willingly. There. Happier now. Just take, I guess it really wouldn't matter which way you drag it, through, just drag it through. And I think, I'm just going to turn it to the side. that kind of bump go away. Bump of black paint. And get black paint on the side there. I missed that too. But I guess that just goes to show you to make sure your wrist is in a comfortable position before you do something like this. Cause if it not, it might not work. But I think I'm just going to leave it at that and see if I can edit out the glare. But anyway, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.